Today's daily dose of math is building an algebraic model for an exponential equation. The example I'm using is the spread of confirmed cases in the province of Quebec of the coronavirus. <clears throat> Today is March 23rd, and yesterday I found from a newspaper article the data that there were 181 confirmed cases in the province, and that was day 22 if I count day zero as the first day that there was a reported case in the province. Therefore, the day before was day 21, and there were 139 confirmed cases that day. So this gives us enough <coughs> data that we can plug these two points into the form for an exponential equation, y equals ab to the x, in order to solve for b and a and find our equation. So I plug into the form with day 22 on top and then again with day 21 below, and then I divide the equations. When I divide, the a and the a cancel, and b to the 22 divided by b to the 21 is b. Then I divide 181 by 139, and I get an answer that rounds to 1.3. Now I can find my a. If I take the first equation and replace the b with 1.3, I get 181 equals a times 1.3 to the x. Now I can solve for a, not to the x, it's to the 22. When I solve for a, I end up dividing 181 by 1.3 to the power of 22. And remember to apply your rule of bed mass here. The exponent has to be applied before the division. And I get an a value that is approximately 0 0.56. Both the b value and the a value are approximations because of rounding, but they give me the values I need to write an equation which is y equals 0 0.56 times 1.3 to the x. Now, I can plug another value into this equation in the x position, and I'm choosing to plug in day 32, which will be March 31st. When I do that, I get an answer which is approximately 2,480. Therefore, my model is predicting that on March 31st, there will be 2,480 confirmed cases in Quebec. Now remember, this data is not perfect. We don't have very much data to work with, and that doesn't make for a perfect situation. And, of course, these are confirmed cases, which is just an approximation of the number of cases. We know that the number of real cases was probably higher because of people who didn't realize they were ill or, or who were unable to be tested for some reason. But this is good enough data so that we can put together this equation and make a prediction. And that is using, making and using an algebraic model, which is necessary for the secondary four algebraic modeling course that I teach. I did this again for the world. The data is a little different because I got the data this time from a website that updates the number of world confirmed cases every day. And I have no idea when day zero really was. It was sometime in December. I chose to make January 1st my day zero, just so that I could build my table of values. By doing that, I ended up with day 81 and day 82. That's yesterday and the day before again. And the values were 307,652 and 337,444. When I plug those into my form and do the same manipulations that I'm doing over here, but I'm not showing them because the numbers are very large and it won't fit on the blackboard, I ended up with a, an approximate v, B value of 1.1 and then an approximate A value of 136. When I plug day 91, which again is March 31st, into that equation, I end up getting a value of 722,571. So this model is predicting that will be the number of confirmed cases by March 31st. Well, one thing that we see that already makes this 
situation look imperfect, look like the approximation that it is, is our B values are not the same, our A values are not the same. In the case of the B values, 1.3 and 1.1 might seem like they're very similar, close together, these numbers, but these numbers will make a very big difference when you have an exponential equation. <clears throat> but the A values is even worse. I have 0 0.56 here, and I have 136 there. That's a really wildly diverging values for my A. But I knew all along that what I was doing was not coming up with an equation that perfectly reflects this situation. I was making an approximation. I'm making a model. This is what making an algebraic model is. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like and subscribe.